What's happening, YouTube? Paul from Maymount Media. For those of you who are new to the channel, uh, I am just about to switch full time to Fujifilm photography for the entire wedding season. Uh, I hope everybody's staying safe and staying healthy out there. It's obviously been a very trying time lately, um, but lucky for us, uh, a couple of our uh, brides and grooms have decided to continue to get married this year. Uh, they're doing amended ceremonies for a lot of them, you know, like cutting the numbers down to 50. Um, and, you know, obviously people from away can't travel in. Um, but I think that uh, it's pretty cool to see people being resilient through these hard times um, and sort of letting love prevail, if you'll let me use a cliche. So um, today we're going to be talking about flash photography for Fujifilm wedding photographers. Uh, for any of you guys who shoot other systems, some of this stuff might apply. But for anyone who doesn't shoot flash photography, this video might be a little boring for you. And we recommend any of our other favorite landscape videos. And we'll link some of those favorites up here for you guys to go and enjoy. Um, but for anyone interested in flash photography, I'm um, just going to give you a quick rundown of the gear that I have settled on for the 2020 season and moving forward, as well as um, some reasons why I selected this system. So Godox is a system that is super effective um, because it is a third party flash company. So they work across uh, all your systems, Sony, Canon, Fuji, Olympus, all of them. So um, if you guys are looking to get into a system like this, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, the one thing that is frustrating is the fact that some of the protocols, um, by which I mean sort of the metal contact points and the interaction with the cameras here, um, the different hot flashes have different uh, settings and, and different pin arrangements. So unfortunately, like this, for example, is the Godox V1F, which means it's specifically for Fujifilm cameras. Um, the cool thing is the wireless system is not... Um, specific to your camera setup. So like this guy over here is the uh, the Godox 8600 Pro, which is a fantastic strobe I would recommend to anyone. And this guy can talk to Canon, Nikon, you know, all of them. So like when Spencer's shooting with me, he'll be shooting the, the Canon 5D Force and he'll be using uh, his trigger system from the X-Pro trigger from Godox on his Canon body and he can fire these guys anytime he wants to, which is pretty exciting. So, uh, and then the same is true for any off body flashes, they can receive wireless signals. Um, it's just your trigger system has to be specific to your body. So pretty neat in that sense. Once you get into the, the Godox ecosystem, pretty exciting to be able to sort of uh, cross over here and there and, uh, and always have some compatibility, which is cool. So um, those of you who are interested in getting into the Godox system right now, and you're curious about the Godox V1s, this is sort of their new flagship um, flash model. It's got a round head on the top, which does affect the way the light spreads. Um, not, not crazy dramatic. So like if you already have the eight sixties or something, um, I'm not sure this would be a super necessary upgrade, but for someone like me, who's just getting into the system, pretty exciting because, um, these guys just went on sale. So they are $60 off, which allowed me to be able to afford two of them. And now I'm very comfortable with my setup. So um, for those of you guys who have been following along, you know that I am now shooting an X-T3 and an X-T4. Um, they both have their pros and cons. Originally, I thought I might stick to only the X-T3s and borrow Spencer's X-T3 as my second camera. Um, but after shooting the X-T4, seeing the autofocus system and seeing how IBIS helped me with my longer lenses like the 5612, I'm certainly going to commit to shooting uh, one of each camera and I'll just keep my telephoto angles on the X-T4 and all my wide angle shots um, on the X-T3. And that way I'll have some pretty solid muscle memory because I always keep wide angle on the left hip and uh, telephoto on the right hip. And now the cameras will be where they're supposed to be all of the time. Um, so over here, you can see this little guy, little pocket flash. Uh, this is the Godox V350F. Um, it is capable of being a wireless master and slave, which is really exciting. It means that I can trigger all this other stuff with this guy. And at the same time as triggering uh, these other off body flashes and strobes with this, I can choose to fire the on body uh, flash at the same time or disable this and use it only as a devoted trigger, which is exciting. Um, obviously, these bigger, more advanced flashes can also do that. Um, and I was actually surprised about how well these V1s balance on top of such a small camera. Um, I do not shoot 
uh, Fuji film system with the battery grips. I know that there are pros and cons to that. And for some people, that's the right thing to do. For me, I actually prefer the smaller form factor and, uh, and the lighter weight on my shoulders. So that's what I'll be running. And so for me, having a super top heavy flash was not ideal for this system. But, uh, but you know, honestly, these are lighter weight than I expected them to be. So I could use these on body and I very well might. Uh, the problem again on top of that is I like to use the MagMod uh, flash modifier system and that adds quite a bit of weight. So realistically, what's gonna be on my setup is just what you see right here. Uh, my telephoto cameras, I generally don't really need an on-body flash for a telephoto shot. I don't find that the light travels far enough with a flattering enough angle and intensity that I enjoy shooting a telephoto with the on-body flash. So I have the X-Pro trigger from Godox. This is the X-Pro F, obviously, for Fujifilm. Um, and then we have a matching one for Canon. Uh, and so this will be how I you know, shoot on the dance floor, for example, from a distance, uh, isolating just my subject without having to sacrifice lighting because I can have these guys up on light stands lighting my dance floor and I can sort of use those with both system. Um, but with my wide angle shots, like in the evenings, I'll be shooting this 1614, which is a full frame 24 millimeter equivalent, a fairly wide angle field of view. Um, this is going to be what I'm using um, for all of my sort of getting in there, getting in the action, you know, including a whole group of people on the dance floor and things like that. And for a lot of those types of shots, um, it's really important for me to have a little bit of light that comes with me over the top of my camera setup so that when I, you know, sticking my camera over the top of a group of people, um, I can allow this flash to fill in their faces a little bit when these, uh, these just don't happen to be placed in a spot that hits everyone's face. So that's really important to me. Uh, this is what we'll be using outdoor most of the time. And then these will sort of be secondary options um, to give you an idea as far as I can understand. And correct me, please, if I'm wrong, because I'm trying to figure out all this stuff uh, as we go along. Um, and information is spotty with flash equipment. It's kind of a lot of trial and error as far as I can tell. Um, as far as it, so this is a 600 watt second strobe. And as far as I can tell, uh, these guys are approximately 60 watts. Um, so quite a bit lower power. Uh, that's really important for me because um, the portability is the reason you pick them. But sometimes uh, even at the lowest power setting at one one thirty second power, uh, the Godox 8600 is just a little too much light sometimes. It's sort of very overbearing. Um, and even turned all the way down, you can't really include the ambient light. It just takes over the whole room. So it's nicer to have some lower power flashes that are still putting out a good quality of light. Um, and then these can be, you know, shot through an umbrella or anything to soften it up if, if necessary. Um, so yeah, so basically that's where I'm at, you guys. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. Um, and then obviously throughout the wedding season, I will be giving you uh, further reviews um, but basically just super excited to have finally filled out my flash selection. And for anyone who's like me, who's wondering, is it worth it? Where are we at? Um, the sale right now makes it a really good decision to be getting these V1s. I think uh, if I were to talk specifically about the V1s, I would say my favorite thing about them is the user interface. Uh, they work very much like the X-Pro trigger in the sense that there are buttons devoted to each group, A, B, C, and D. So when I'm shooting on the dance floor um, and somebody turns around, or if I move to the other side of the dance floor and I want to disengage one and engage another, um, it's very quick. It's just a quick little press the A button, press the on or off, and then press B, and then press on or off, and I'm done. So uh, pretty exciting to be able to um, manipulate my wireless flash setup so quickly and easily. Um, and then, you know, even this guy can be triggering these ones while I'm on the dance floor as well. So uh, this is the new setup, you guys. Pretty excited about it. Obviously, as if you follow the channel, you would know already that we just moved into this new space. Um, we are now in Phippsburg, Maine, and uh, we have been crazy busy lately. So I apologize for not posting more often. We're going to try to get back out there and be shooting more landscapes soon. Uh, as of right now, we're working on multiple video projects um, and then wedding season starts full force this weekend. So um, we will be trying to keep you updated. We'll let you know as we fill out the office here and get this into a more workable studio space. 
um, and just a more pleasant workspace in general for us to be, as well as when we start to explore some of the uh, land trusts around Phippsburg and get back out there shooting some landscapes. So thanks for checking in with us, you guys. Uh, we really appreciate you following along with the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or uh, just general inquiries about flashes in general or specifically about the Godox system, leave them in the comments section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up with all our upcoming updates, and we appreciate you stopping in. Take care.